Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tale reading for all of my Geminis who are watching. So if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Gemini, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently, but before I do go ahead and begin, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, Gemini, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Gemini, so let's just go ahead and begin first starting with your tarot portion of your reading. So let's see what we have going for Gemini. All right, a stack of cards came out, or not a stack, but first card, Page of Pentacles. I'm just going to reference this, but actually put it back. Of course, I'll refer back to this energy if needed, but let's see what we have going on for my Geminis, please, when it comes to love. What energy do we have making its way towards Gemini, please? Okay, we have the world card Gemini. It did come out sideways, so I'll keep that in mind just in case any energy may reply to it being in reverse, but for now it's upward. So the world card, what do we need to know about Gemini's energy when it comes to love? With the world, we have the seven of cups, but in reverse. All right, the world, the seven of cups in reverse. What else do we need to know, please, for my Gemini's? Okay, we also have the Three of Wands. Who's this person that is making their way towards Gemini? We have the Emperor, but we also have the Queen of Cups, Gemini. Let's go ahead and leave it at that for now. So to start out with, we have the World card, the Seven of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands. We also have the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. I also want to apologize, Gemini, if you do hear any background noise. I hope that does not disrupt your reading. But Gemini, I feel like there is someone coming to a realization about you in this connection. Instead of stalling on things, instead of just daydreaming, fantasizing, and not making action, it's like someone has snapped out of it. And I know I'm saying someone, this could be you or this person, but I'm going to describe it from this person's energy. Of course, the roles could be reversed here. But I feel like this person, Gemini, took some time to make a decision about something. It could have been due to multiple reasons. It may have been because they felt like they did not have everything that was needed to pursue you, or even the mindset of thinking that this wasn't going to best serve them or be what was right for them so it could be a matter of things gemini but it's like this person feels uplifted they feel like they have the clarity the answers and the judgment the decision making to go towards you instead of staying in this seven of cups energy because seven of cups upright is a person thinking about all these possible options they're in their head about something Maybe they're concerned about the different emotions that may stem from this action, and because of that, they're holding back on it. But in reverse, it's like this person woke up out of that dream, and it's time to take action here with the Three of Wands. So if this is reminding you of someone you already know, Gemini, you have not heard from them, I feel like they're preparing to reach out to you, but it's like, not which way do I go, but let me get all of my ducks in order if that's the correct saying let me get everything in order in order to achieve this to accomplish be successful with these actions that i'm putting out here towards gemini but this person is ready to go with this three of wands energy it's like they're setting out that intention and they're ready to pursue it with the emperor aries energy first sign in the zodiac they're ready to come towards you gemini and it's not just a sporadic thing it's not just because why why not like let's let's take a risk here it's 
them being calculative, them being strategic about making their way towards you and offering this love offer. And I feel like this has been on their mind for some time and they finally feel like they have it all together here. So there's no need to hold back if you want to go towards what you want. This connection in the beginning, Gemini, it may have lacked empathy, but I feel like if it was a setback in how this person was feeling about this or they had doubts, anxieties, fears that they let get in the way of this, it's like they're letting their heart lead the way here. And before Gemini, they may have been in their head overthinking, not actively communicating with you, but throughout this time of separation or absence, they know that in order to come towards you, they need to make amends with you. They need to be sensitive towards this issue. They need to express how they feel with this Queen of Cups energy. So I see this as this person wanting to reach their hand out to yours and it's like they want to express how they finally feel or what they've been holding back on, but they're not trying to bombard this energy. Now they're ready to come towards you, but they want to offer you that care, that grace, and that maybe it's sympathy or not sympathy, but empathize with how you feel, Gemini, with the Queen of Cups. And just referring back to the world, it's like this person has this vivid, view or idea of what they want with you now like they feel like they're finally ready they have everything in line for this to succeed there could have been something that was holding them back but it's like they broke through that i also see this as a person coming back up out of nowhere gemini so let's see what else we have going for gemini please when it comes to this person we have the knight of pentacles all right, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, but in reverse, Gemini. Okay, let's clarify this energy a bit more, please, for the Gemini. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. One more card, please, for now. What else do we need to know? Okay, so let's see. Two cards came out. We have the King of Swords and the Five of Cups. So I'll just keep both of these, Gemini. We'll go ahead and pull some advice cards as well. But following the Queen of Cups, we have the King or the Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, but in reverse. Ten of Swords, King of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Okay, Gemini. So like I said, it's like this person broke free from something that was holding them back, that they felt like would get in the middle of you two or just something that was holding them back in the sense that they felt less optimistic. They thought that this was not going to work out or it wasn't worth it, but now they know they feel like it's worth it and they know that in order to make that entrance, they have to come towards you. They're not holding back on that, but they also have to extend their love to you. Maybe this love is long overdue if this did end in a hurtful way or a deceptive way. It's time to give back to you, Gemini, and they know that in order to do so, it's going to build or have stability is have, excuse me, stability is going to have to be built here because your trust might be lacking with this person. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to build that foundation with you through their actions, through their words, through their efforts. I was going to combine efforts and gestures, but both of those Gemini, so Knight of Pentacles, this person is no longer entangled in their thoughts here. It's like they have this clear understanding of what they want, and it's to pursue you. There may have also been lies or deception or doesn't even have to reach that extent, but miscommunication, Gemini, however this resonates for you, I feel like as far as them communicating anything like that to you, they want to be clear, straightforward, and direct, tell you the truth here, and also uncover everything that may have left you questioning what, what is this, what are we doing here to begin with. This person may have had to do some releasing, so have you, Gemini. Maybe you were releasing this person with the Five of Cups energy. This may have weighed heavy on your heart, but you needed to let it go because it was not getting you anywhere. 
this could also be this person's energy in the sense that this is what they needed to do on a personal level in order to feel this ten of swords energy freeing have having everything right in front of you like a clear frame of mind here to go towards what is right with the knight with the king of swords excuse me but communication that factor i feel like it's going to change from this person because they are decisive they are stern with what they want someone who has taken the time to think about what really matters what does not matter what serves them what is not for their best interest gemini and once again this could be a person from some time ago okay let's go ahead and pull some advice cards please for my gemini's let's receive a few advice cards what do you need to know we have the nine of wands we also have the tower one more card please for my gemini's and that is the hermit okay gemini so for your advice we have nine of wands we also have the tower and the hermit so i feel like out of this situation gemini there was a tower moment and ending here you may have not expected it from that you have to really protect what's yours that's your heart your energy what really matters to you like assert yourself or stand up for what you do not deserve including or yeah even if that includes going into that five of cups energy and releasing what does not serve you the hermit energy could be a mutual energy shared between you two gemini you two going back into your own shells maybe or just into your inner world and working on yourself for you gemini it may have been healing self-love for this person getting those things in order we have virgo energy with the hermit okay gemini i'm gonna just see what sign you may be dealing with can we please receive a sign for gemini we do have scorpio we also have cancer so some water energy one more sign please for gemini and that is aries aries with the emperor energy but Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.